guys welcome back so I wanted to do something a little bit different with my ipsy glam bag plus box that I got for the month of June I wanted to go ahead and try it on because there's a lot of really good products in this box this month and it's actually a good amount of items that I could use on my face today so I wanted to go ahead take this box of goodies which is everything that I got in my ipsy glam bag plus <laughs> for June do a quick little try on for you and just kind of talk about my feelings first impressions of all of these products so if you'd like to see my first impression thoughts on the June glam bag plus box then just keep on watching okay you guys so let's go ahead and get started with this generation clay face mask it retails for $39 and this is the ultraviolet brightening purple clay mask. Now, what Ipsy states about this mask is that by combining purifying clay with Australian botanical ingredients, this brand creates products that leave your skin feeling and looking clean and healthy. This mask is loaded with good for you ingredients like desert lime to hydrate and help stimulate collagen growth and deep cleaning bentonite clay. Aloe vera soothes while Davidson plum, a superfruit that acts as a natural alpha hydroxy acid, brightens and rejuvenates your skin. Now, as you can see, I'm just applying this face mask with a flat foundation brush. It makes application very easy and seamless, and it makes for easy cleanup. Now, while placing this mask on my face, it did not have a strong scent just a very slight clay mask scent and it went on very easily my face was not irritated at all it didn't itch or burn it felt very nice it was actually quite cool going on my skin so I'm waiting for 10 minutes for this mask to dry as the instructions state and then I'm going to go ahead wash it off with some warm or lukewarm water and we'll come back and move on. Now, my face is very clean, nice, and soft. It does look bright and rejuvenated to me, and this mask actually felt really, really nice. So, I like how it performed. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the CEO, or actually, it's the Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. Now, this retails for $65. It has a very faint hint of a citrus smell, not anything strong at all, very faint. It smells really nice. Now this cream going on feels very, very hydrating. It states that this moisturizer is infused with ultra potent vitamin C to help fight skin damage and visibly brighten your skin while adding a dewy luminous glow. I would definitely say, I would definitely say rather, that that is true it left my skin feeling extremely moisturized as you can see it looks very very dewy and I really like it it's good for daytime or night now I'm gonna go ahead throw all my complexion as you can see so we can move on to this eyeshadow palette now this is the ipsy and Tetris eyeshadow palette that was in our box this month and it comes in this cute little unicarton as you can see it has the Tetris design on the palette it's a pretty purple cardboard palette with a mirror and there are six shadows in this palette it retails for $24 and there are only two mattes it looks like two shimmers and two satins in this palette so it's not a very versatile palette there are only a few looks I would say you can do <laughs> with this. If you love purple and blue, you'll probably love this palette. The matte shadows, the tan and the brown were actually very light. As you'll see, the brown really doesn't show up on me. And the tan would be good for a brow bone highlight. So for my look, I went ahead and started out by using Skyline, which is the brown shade and it was basically a waste of time as you can see because you cannot see it on my skin <laughs> but i did go ahead and use that all over the upper portion of my lid just to help for blending <laughs> 
Now I'm gonna go into the purple shade, which is high score, and I'm just placing that in my crease. Now this is a satin shadow, it's not a matte, so it's not going to perform like a matte. I'm just blending that in my crease area, just trying to check out the pigmentation because I definitely wanted a nice colorful look with this palette. But like I said, you only have so many options. So I'm just placing that purple in my crease and kind of blending it out, trying to get a nice soft blend. Now, information on this palette, it says that this is the 35th anniversary for Tetris. And so that's why they wanted to partner with this iconic video game. As you can see, I'm going in with the blue shade, which is Pop Out. This is a, what I would say is a shimmer shadow. It's not really metallic. I think it's more of a shimmer shade. And I'm just placing that all over my lid. It's extremely pigmented, you guys. There is some fallout, not a crazy amount, but there is a bit of fallout that I did have to brush away from my cheek area as I was applying this shadow, but the pigmentation was really surprising to me. Because I didn't use a white base and it popped so much, it is absolutely gorgeous to me. This shadow palette comes with six richly pigmented velvety buildable shades to create any eye look you want from subtle to smoky and to bold and beyond. Now, I don't know about all of that, <laughs> but it definitely will give you a beautiful bold eye look. Now I'm just going in with some blue eyeliner because I wanted to go ahead and make my lower lash line match the top. So I'm placing that on my lower lash line and I'm going in with some of my black liquid eyeliner from Wet n Wild. Of course, these aren't in the box this month. Now I'm going to go ahead and try out the mascara for this month. Now this is from Mail. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is the Mail Beauty Above and Beyond Mascara. Retails for $20 and it has a very thick, fluffy applicator which I don't really care for <laughs> it's not really my style of mascara applicator that I would naturally be drawn to I like ones that are a little bit more thin spread out so that I can kind of maneuver in between my lashes a little bit better also this mascara is very thick to me it's too thick it doesn't allow for me to kind of control what happens with my lashes. It's just like, I don't know, I don't like it. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a terrible mascara. It's just not for me. It's not one that I would choose, but someone else might actually really love this mascara. Next, let's go ahead and try out the Tristique Lip Crayon. Now this is the Matte Color and Shiny Balm Lip Crayon. Now what I didn't realize is that it's double sided. It's very cool because it is magnetic as you can see, but there is a lip balm on the other end of this lip crayon that I didn't even realize was there. Now this retails for $25 and the color is very pretty. It's Belize Bordeaux and the balm is in the color Grenache. Now, typically when I use crayons, they're not pigmented enough for me, but this one is very nicely pigmented, soft on the lips, and although it's matte, it's not dry feeling at all. It's very, very comfortable, and as I wore it throughout the day, it lasted for a decent amount of time, so I like it. And you guys, I almost forgot my inner corner highlight, so I'm gonna jump back into this palette and grab the shade Teaspin, which is this kind of gray, silver type shade, and just place that on my inner corner. And as you can see, it's nicely pigmented. It's showing up and I didn't even spray my brush, so I'm not mad at that. But just to do a basic roundup on this box, I would say this was a great box this month. I liked everything in here, from the mask, to the lip product, to the, Sunday Riley face cream. Everything was just really, really nice. My least favorite item would be the mascara and my most favorite item would be the mask only because I love skincare so much. So that's it for this box, you guys. Thanks for hanging out and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!